Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about the sovereign wealth fund and the sovereign wealth fund in China. The table of content is the first is meaning of the sovereign wealth fund and the history, the real world example, and the China Investment Cooperative. A sovereign wealth fund is a state or investment fund or entity which comprise of pool of money derived from a country reserve. And the reserve are funds set aside for investment to benefit the country economy and its citizen. Common objective is to protect and stabilize the budget and economy from the exit volatility in the revenue and export. Uh, next is diversity from the non renewable commodity export. Next is the earn gather return than on foreign exchange reserve. Next is the assist monetary authority dissipate unwanted liquidity. And next is the increase saving for the future generation. Next is the fund social and economical development. And next is sustainable long term capital growth for target country and the political strategy. The history of the sovereign wealth fund. The first of the sovereign wealth fund is start in the nineteen fifty three. It is a Kuwait Investment Authority. After that, there are many of the sovereign wealth funds, such as in nineteen ninety, the Norway Government Pension Fund is the major fund, and next is the two thousand seven is occurred the China Investment Cooperation. For more understanding, the traditional classification of the sovereign wealth fund is include the stabilization fund. Serving of Future Generation Fund, Pension Reserve Fund, Reserve Investment Fund, Strategic Development Sovereign Wealth Fund. The acceptable investment included in each sovereign wealth fund is vary from country to country, such as country with the liquidity that concern the limits of investment to only very liquid public debt instrument. And in some cases, the sovereign wealth fund will invest indirectly in domestic industry. Moreover, the sovereign wealth fund can fall into the two category: that commodity or non-commodity. For the commodity fund, are the financed by the exporting commodity, but for non-commodity fund, are typically financed by the and export of the foreign currency reserve from the current account surplus. What do the sovereign wealth fund invest in? The sovereign wealth fund are traditionally passive long-term investor. Is invested in a wide range of the asset classes, including government bond, equity, foreign direct investment. Moreover, sovereign wealth fund are use a variety of the investment strategy, such as some fund invest exclusively in the publicly listed financial assets, and other investment in all of the major asset classes. The operating principle of the sovereign wealth fund were framed in the two thousand eight to ensure that fund would be act for the economic good. Santiago principles are laid out with dictate that a sovereign wealth fund must be compulsorily invest for the good return and have a transparent structure. However, that rule applies only to the those countries that volunteer to follow. To expand more the Santiago principle, the Santiago principle is the International Working Group or IWG of the Sovereign Wealth Fund was established to the demonstrate to the country which receive the investment that these are carried out under the strictly economic and financial criteria. It established for such as to help to maintain the stability of the global financial system. Or the free movement of the capital and investment, or have a transparent, cooperative government that provide adequate operation control, risk management, and accountability. The advantage of the sovereign wealth fund: if a country heavily rely on the natural resource, and the wind and the resource are drained, then you can supplement the income with the health of the sovereign wealth fund. Next, the sovereign wealth fund can be used to the counter a recession and increase government spending. And the sovereign wealth fund can act as a substitute for the company's income other than tax. The disadvantage of the sovereign wealth fund: the return are not guaranteed. You can lose everything. That's one. And more, the foreign exchange rate can be impact. And more is the lack of the transparency may result in the mismanagement of the fund. The biggest concern about the sovereign wealth fund. One of the biggest fear is whether the investment of the sovereign wealth fund are driven purely by the commercial sense or the partly by political agenda. An important aspect of the sovereign management is the control of leaks or put differently, 
restriction on the desirable distribution of the finance wealth, late of return, or the other variable one might wish to the risk, such as the shortfall. In the sovereign wealth fund, they have an international debate because it represents a large and a growing portion of the global economy. The size and the potential impact that this fund could have on the international trade have led to the considerable opposition and the criticism. For real world example, in Japan, there is Japan Government Pension Investment Fund. Next is the Norway Sovereign Wealth Fund. It is the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world as of the 2018 and 19 by the exit under the management. Next is the country that we interested is China. And that is the China Investment Corporation as the Sovereign Wealth Fund. The Sovereign Wealth Fund in China is the CIC or the China Investment Corporation. China Investment Corporation or the CIC is the sovereign wealth fund of the People's Republic of China that invests on a long-term basis in the public and the private asset to diversify the country foreign exchange holding. The Chinese Ministry of the Finance established the CIC in the 2007 by issuing special bond, the fund target equity, income and the alternative investment strategy such as the hedge fund. The objectives are to carry out an active and steady operation, endeavor to maximize the shareholder interest within an acceptable scope of the risk, and continually improve the corporate governance in the state-owned major financial institution it controls. On this slide, I present you about the principles of China Investment Corporation. First thing is that the organization shall operate in compliance with applicable laws and regulations and also appropriately bear the cost of funds received from the government. Moreover, it enhances its operating results and establishes effect corporate governance. The second is that the organization shall separate its commercial activities from governmental functions and it also makes its business decisions independently and open it based on the commercial grounds. The third is that the organization bears severe liabilities to the extent of the total assets which held by it as a legal person. On this slide, I continue to mention about the principle of China Investment Corporation by providing structural conditions which qualify how Chinese government established the China Sovereign Wealth Fund based on the history of China. The first condition is mentioned about the China export-oriented economy. Since 1979, in which China has reformed its economic development model from central planning economy to market economy. Uh, however, with Soviet perestroika, in which the state utterly and shockingly served its role from economy, the Chinese government abuses uh, the privileges of state status in order to develop its economy hand in hand with cultivating its political legitimacy. As a result of China's economic reforms, its economic growth has tremendously increased since the early 1980s and 1990s. China success concomitantly coincided with this with its annual increases in exports. Second conditions which the sequential conditions after the first conditions. In this condition is mentioned about the China's repercussion of excessive foreign exchange reserve. Uh, according to China economic reforms, it has successfully championed the economic model, which the state that uh, play an important role in the trading economy. 
since the first condition uh, could create the second condition, therefore this uh, these two conditions can be exemplified by exploring the correlation uh, between China's economic reforms with export oriented as main strategies and its FER surpluses since the 1990s. The third condition is concerned the domestic contestation between the two policy making entities, which name the People Bank of China, or PBOC, and the Ministry of Finance, or MOF. These two state agencies have recalled over the question of which body should be authorized to influence over broad economic policy and control the country's financial assets. Uh, even though the general trend of clashes between the central bank and Ministry of Finance throughout the world in other nations, the battle between the People Bank of China and Ministry of China incipiently conditioned the birth of China's sovereign wealth fund. The role of the People Bank of China is to regulate and supervise all of the Chinese state-owned commercial banks, whereas those state-owned financial institutions are owned by the Ministry of Finance. The fourth condition, which is uh, occurred in the 1997 of Asian financial crisis, as a contest for the supremacy between the People Bank of China and Ministry of Finance has always been uh, intact. The advent of Chu Longqi as Premier of the PRC in the early 1990s elevated the strategic position of the People Bank of China due to the fact that Chu was a former governor of People Bank of China. Uh, in 1997 crisis, it brought a, the danger of national insecurity as a result of languishing financial system. Hence, Chu initiated a reform in the banking sector which was then undercapitalized. On this slide, I would like to present you about the scope. So. The scope of the organization's business uh, includes domestic investment in debt securities, denominated in foreign currencies and other financial products that denominated in foreign currencies, and overseas or uh, investment in debt securities, stock, funds, derivative instruments, and other financial products and domestic and overseas equity investments, overseas investment through external funds and managers. It's also the, the provisions of loans through entrusted financial institutions and management of entrusted foreign exchange assets. The establishment of equity investment funds and fund management companies as a promoter and other businesses approved by the relevant governmental authorities. Therefore, the, organi the organizations make equity investments in domestic financial institutions primarily through its subsidiary. The next topic is about management structure. The organization has set up the board of directors and the board of supervisors, along with the Sovereign Wealth Fund Tree Governing, which are another board of directors and supervisor, including executive committee, to support the role and responsibility 
of the organization to achieve their objectives. Since CIC was established for an increased profitability of foreign reserve in China, so it is diversified into two main types of investment mechanism. The first one is public market investment, and the second one is long-term investment. For public market investment, CIC International intensify management for both internally and externally managed portfolios. It optimizes portfolio structure, work on expanding sustainable, replicable, and scalable sources of excess return, and continue to improve its investment management capabilities. From that, CIC monitor evaluate equity on existing investment in Delft to adjust external manager and optimize portfolio structure. For the fixed income, reserve was set up for long-term tracking. For hedge fund portfolio, it was to optimize strategy allocation and fund selection through portfolio healthy turnover. For multi-asset strategy, to enhance its risk parity investment and branches into credit product for better diversification of risk. In-house capability for internally managed equity, it was to optimize selected fundamental driven portfolio and develop internally managed quantitative portfolios. For internally managed bond portfolio were expanded to active management of global government bonds and government related bonds, inflation linked bond and passive portfolio of treasury is issued by developed economies. Moving on to the long-term investment, CIC focuses on strengthening research and allocation strategy of long-term assets, private equity and private credit. The company reviewed that its invest fund selected and invest in superior fund and renew its commitment to high-performing fund managers. It tracked market trends and tapped into long-term private equity investment strategies. It also improved the decision-making process for co-investment and co-sponsorship. Increased and appropriate to ticket size of selected high-quality projects and promptly captured small-scale high-quality investment opportunities. For real estate, the company continue to perform well in traditional subsector, investing in high-quality assets with long-term stable returns and long price resistance in major market. It adopt a prudent approach to direct investment, focusing on perform project and new alternative real estate investment opportunities. The last one is post-investment management. The company took step in closely tracking and regularly reviewing projects it invested in and developed projects based on post-investment management plans. The process of CIC. The first one, according to its business expansion need and the adjustment among its investment division. CIC revised investment decision-making policy and management rule to improve investment management and decision-making efficiency. Second, CIC emphasized the role of research to put in place research system to provide better support for investment decision-making. Third, CIC closely track international economic and market trend and analyze major market events and pragmatic problem in investment activities. Fourth, CIC also endeavor to integrate international research resources more effectively and promote information sharing through collaboration across departments. Fifth, 
CIC advanced the development of currency overlay and conduct tests of currency hedging and portfolio replication to support overall portfolio management more effectively. It refined the management of passive portfolio, explore research on new stock market indexes, and carry out bond lending to increase the flexibility of its portfolio and reduce management costs. 6. CIC strive to advance the operational system with the optimization plan for the investment operation structure and the custodian bank evaluate system in place. 7. CIC formulate the accounting policy and rule and establish the cost accounting and payment management system which cover the entire process of CIC financial management. 8. CSE provides sound information technology support for investment, business, and corporate management, optimize the in-house information technology system, and develop or improve the portfolio analysis and allocation system. 9. CIC provide all-round support for investment activities on legal compliance and taxation matters. It closely track major issue in the law and re regulation of recipient country and their influence on its business. And the last one, CIC advance the internal audit system and conduct a serious audit of the investment projects economic responsibility and annual report of CIC and a special purpose vehicle oversee. In addition, CIC strengthen the implementation of its code of conduct and guidelines on preventing conflicts of interest. Investment strategy CIC is committed to its role as a prudent, professional, and responsible investor operating globally with good reputation. CIC also invests in a commercial basis. Its objective is to seek maximum return for its shareholder with an acceptable risk tolerance. CIC is a financial investor and does not seek control of the company in its portfolio. CIC also a responsible investor a bidding by the law and regulation of China and of relevant countries. CIC pursue investment based on in-depth research within an asset allocation framework to ensure the prudent and disciplined approach in both decision-making and investment activities. CIC follow a set of investment philosophy based on its own characteristic and understanding of investment management. CIC takes a holistic and disciplined approach to strategy, design, and portfolio construction, analysis, and management to ensure a well-disciplined portfolio with integrity and stability. As a long-term investor, CIC is well positioned to withstand short term market volatilities and capture illiquidity premiums. CIC continue to pursue risk diversification by spreading risk factor allocation in a bit to reduce portfolio volatility and curb downside risk. Portion of investment. CIC disclosed an approximate portfolio allocation of 46% of public equities, 37% of alternative assets, 15% of fixed income security, and 2% of cash. Two-thirds of the aggregate portfolio was externally managed as of year-end. 2016 and the balance managed internally by CIC staff. Next, we're going to talk about the impact. China used CIC as a tool of political influence or a as a weapon for 
First, to bribe others by providing money in exchange for specific policies, China friendly countries such as Taiwan. Second, to threaten in to inflict pain on the country that China view as an enemy or has adopted policy that deemed to be hostile. The third, China could be UCAC reserve to gain a control over the vital strategy assets, industries, and or technologies. For the fourth, China could deploy its financial po- power to reshape international political economy order. The fifth, China could be UCAC resources to enhance its soft power. And the last one, China could use the CAC to stimulate its supply and stabilize its resource flow and price. Next, we're going to talk about the result of setting China Investment Corporation. The first, the establishment of CAC came about as a result of competition among China major economic policy maker over management of the nation massive stock of foreign exchange reserve. The competition takes place at China decide to be better utilize its foreign exchange reserve to obtain a higher rate of return from the state investment in foreign assets and seek resource security, especially in energy. The establishment of CAC has no obvious impact on the safe investment company, and it is a compromise that allows both Ministry of Finance and the People Bank of China, or PBC, to manage the country's foreign exchange reserve. Safe Investment Company has so far only acquired relatively small stake in the foreign company. It appears that the bank of PBC investment continues to be concentrated in high liquid foreign assets. And the last one, the CAC increased Ministry of Finance influences over the management of the nation's foreign exchange reserve at the expense of PBC, but the loss in influencing of PBC may be about three trillion US dollar on foreign exchange reserve. This is the end of our group. If you have any questions, feel free to ask after this video presentation was end. Thank you for your attention.